Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Matibay students! At syempre naman mga anak, welcome to our week 2, okay, sa pag-aaral po ng ABM 005 Business Mathematics. Welcome to Matibay Class! Matibay Class! Oo, oh, makahabang introduction. <laughs> okay, sabi natin Sir Jason, last week magsi-face to face na tayo. Oo nga, kaya nga lang muntintihin merong meeting or merong memo. Memo ba yun? Oo, oh, 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 May memo, memo na ibinigay. <laughs> Siyempre naman ayaw naman natin na pagpasok ng ating mga anak ay exam, exam agad. agad. Pagpasok ng ating mga anak face to face, exam agad or quiz agad. So, hindi naman yata masaya pag gano'n. Yes, that's, that's why, why nag-decide ang ating mga boss, ang ating school, na i-move ng August 8 ang ating face-to-face -face at tapusin muna natin ang exam ng mga bata sa yes. kanilang nilang bahay. Uh -oh. Para walang pressure. Uh -oh. Para pwede pa sila Pure pag-aaral and fun na lang muna. Dapat ang first week natin na mag-face-to-face tayo. Ayon. At dahil dyan, magpo-proceed tayo ulit sa ating video discussion which is all about comparing and differentiating ratio and rate. And that is module 7 and I think that module 7 is not, not included, included on the examination. Yes, so, pero kasama pa rin siya sa discussion. So, ituloy-tuloy natin. For that For particular topic, topic, meron tayong dalawang objectives. First is to compare and differentiate ratio and rate. And second is to write proportions illustrating real life situation. <laughs> Kung makabanggit naman tayo ng R, talagang R, gano'n, gano'n. O, paano? R, gano'n. Okay. Let's start with ratios. Ano nga ba tinatawag natin ratio? Okay, kapag sinabi natin ratio, it is used to compare two or more quantities with the same unit. The ratio of a number A to a number B is denoted by any of the following notations. Ayan. Sabi ko, nung unang linggo, ang mga ratio ay tatlong klaseng binabasa yan. Yes. Okay, pwede siyang A to B. A is to B, o pwede rin namang A, A all over, over B. B. Again, take note. A to B, or A is to B, or A all over B. And yan, all, is, all, all these, these notations, notations are read as A to B, or A is to B. B. Pero pwede namang A, A all, all over B. B. Okay, so take note again, pag sinabi nating ratio, two with the same quantities unit. with the same units. Two or more quantities with the same units. Let's so say for example. have our example. Letter A, write the ratio of 6 hours to 11 hours. If sabi you take natin, a look, oh, sige. Ayun, sabi natin, they should have the same units. So, hours, 6 hours, and 11 hours. Since pareha sila ng units, pwede mo na silang, pwede mo nang kunin ang kanyang ratio. Ayan. So, for our solution, we have here, <coughs> 6 hours to 11 hours. So, Ang ratio niya ay pwede natin isulat as 6 all over 11 or 6 is to 11. Ayan, well dapat parehas nila ng units. Okay, let's proceed with our number 2 example. Write the ratio of 8 days to 2 weeks. If you take a look on our example, bakit sir sabi mo dapat pareho sila ng units? Yes. Kapag titignan mo days and weeks, pareho lang naman sila. Because you can always convert weeks It's into Days. And for that, we have now 8 days to 2 weeks is 8 days. Same with 8 days to 14 days. Tama ma'am? Because when you convert 2 weeks, that is equal to 14 days. Kung kaya naman, yes. pwede natin siyang isulat as A is to 14. 14. Pinag-aralan natin noon ma'am on how to simplify numbers. Okay? Kapag titignan natin ang 8 at 14, they are both divisible by 2. That's why we are denoting it reduced into its simplest form. In simplest form, we write the ratio as 4 is to 7. <laughs> Kaya pa. <laughs> Kaya pa. <laughs> Ayan. So, simplified lang natin siya. Okay. Let's now proceed with rate. Okay. So, kapag sinabi naman natin rate, rate is when a ratio is used to compare two quantifies or quantities, quantities of different units of measures. Yan. Different units naman tayo ngayon. Okay? So, here's an example. To walk three kilometers in one hour is to walk at the rate of three kilometer per hour. Kung titignan nyo mga anak, rate na siya dahil meron siyang unit na kilometer 
at our at hindi po sila parehong units. That's why that is called as rate. In so summary, ma'am. Yeah. To sum up, both rates and ratios are a comparison of two numbers. So a rate is simply a specific type of ratio. The difference is that a rate is a comparison of two numbers with different units, whereas a ratio compares two numbers with the same unit. So yun oh. po ang ating keywords for so, ratio and yun. rate. When we say ratio, dapat para sila ng unit. Units. Okay, kapag sinabi po nating rate, magkaiba po sila ng unit. Yes, pero okay. ang rate po is a specific type of Over ratio, ratio. pa rin. Okay. And that's all about rate and ratio at para mas maintindihan natin mga kipin, let's, let's proceed with In our, our examples. examples. Okay, so let's proceed with our first example, Sir Jason, pakibasa. Albert and William are <laughs> candidates. Albert received 2,500 votes while William received 3,000 votes. Ang hirap. What is the ratio of Albert's votes against William? Mas madukano. Hindi ah. Pinagbabasa mo ako kasi. Nakahawak ako. Nakahawak ako ng video. Ano ako magician? Multitasking with them. Ayan. So, sabi sa problem, Albert and William are both candidates. Si Albert daw, ay nakakuha ng 2,500 votes at si William naman ay 3,000 ipapresent natin siya or kukunin natin ang kanilang ratio. Ano yun? Ayan. So, ikunin natin yung kanilang ratio. So, we have now Albert is to William. Yeah. Ilan daw ang votes kay Albert? We have 2,500 and for William, we have o oh, ba mali agad. Sorry. 3,000. Next, if you are going to look at the given votes, they are both divisible by? Pwedeng 100. Ayan, pwedeng 100. Sige, so i-100 natin. 2,500 divided by 100, 25. we will get 25 is to 30. Are they both divisible by what number? Um, 5. Ayan, they are both divisible by 5 pa. So, since pwede ba silang i-divide, i-simplify pa natin. So, we will now get 25 divided by 5 is? 5. five is 2, 6. six. Pwede pa ba silang i-factor out? Or pwede pa ba silang i-divide? Hindi na po. Okay, so since hindi na, eto na po ang ating magiging sagot. Sure. So, again, sabi natin, pwede mo siyang isulat in 3 ways. Okay, so, pwede na. siyang 5 and 6. Pwede rin 5 is to 6, which is ginamit natin, or pwede rin namang 5 all over 6. So, kahit alin po dyan, tamang sagot. Okay, let's have example number 2 with, anong tawag dito, langgam <laughs> for today's video. Dahil siya na po medyo may itim kasi nagpalit kami ng ink Yuck. ng printer. Okay? Ma'am Tintin, syempre babawi ako. Pakibasa. Uh. <laughs> Lizelle, Mariel, and Stuki are partners. Their capital balances are 10,000 pesos, 20,000 pesos, <coughs> sorry, and 30,000 pesos <laughs> respectively. What is their capital ratio? So we are still dealing with ratio. Take note of the word, mga anak, respectively. respectively. And when we say respectively, ibig sabihin kung ano ang pagkakaayos, yun din po ang ating susundin. So sabi niya, Lizelle, Mariel, and Snooki are partners. The question is, ay, their capital balances are 10,000, 20,000, and 30,000 respectively. What is their capital ratio? So pwede natin isulat niyan mga anak as L, Lizelle, is to Mariel, Snooki. is to snooky because of the word respectively. Kaya ganyan din po ang pagpakakaayos. Ilan po ang balance po ni Lizelle? We have 10,000. 10,000. How about Mariel? We have 20,000. 20, How about snooky? 30,000. 30, so meron tayo ngayong 10,000 is to 20,000 is to 30,000. If we take a look on the balances, they are all divisible by 1,000. So 10,000 divided by 1,000, obviously, ten. I, uh, obviously it's 10. Ten. Ten. Okay. How about 20,000 divided by 1,000? 20. 
if this is 20. How about 30,000 divided by 1,000? 30. 30. Okay? Since 10 is to 20 is to 30 na tayo, I think they are all both divisible by 10. Mm. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 1. Is to 20 divided by 20? 2. 2. 30 divided by 10? 30. 3. 3. So we have now 1 is to 2 is to 3. And definitely, hindi mo na yan po masisimplify. Therefore, this is now the final answer. Now mga anak, Sir Jason, pwede naman na natin i-direct na pwede na siya silang divisible by 10,000. Then kung gusto nyo pong ganun ang process, then wala pong problema. Uh -oh. So the correct answer is 1 is to 2 is to 3. Okay, dinaan lang namin po sa 1,000 para po mas uh, Makita sure niyo. tayo. Yes. Makita nyo kung paano siya talagang naging 1 is to 2 is to 3. Yes. Okay, maliwanag mong tinti? Maliwanag na maliwanag po. Okay. And so, money drives number three, money drives 210 kilometers weekly and consumes on the average 28 liters of the gasoline per week. What is the rate in kilometers per liter? So, Sorry. this is an example of rate, rate kasi magkaibang units po ang nakikita ninyo dyan, kilometers yes. and liters. So, same pa rin naman yung gagawin nating process. Yun nga lang, ang maiiba lang this time is the unit. So, i-apply natin. Sorry. We have now... 210 is to ilan yun? Malagyan mo yung ano, km. Ay, sorry. 210 kilometer, kilometer sorry, is to 28 liters. liters. Yeah. Next, simplify kagaya nung ginawa natin kanina. They are both divisible by what number? I think pwede mo ng 7. Uh -uh, pwede sila ng 7. So, 210 divided by 7, oh, automatic. <laughs> 210 <laughs> divided by 7 is equal to 30. 30. So, we have 30 kilometers here. Is to, o oh, ang dali-dali, 28 divided Four. by 7. Kung may trust issues ka, i-calculator mo siya. 4 liters. Now, 30 and 4. Meron pa ba silang number na pwedeng mag-divide sa kanila? I think yes. yes, we have 2. We have 2. So, 30 divided by 2, we have 15, 15 kilometers. Is to, 4 two. divided by 2, 2 Liters. Therefore, ang hinahanap niya dito sa tanong, what is the rate in kilometer per liter? We have 15 kilometer per 2 liters. Ayan. Yun. Okay. Maliwanag. Okay, we have example number 4. Four. I think this is also an example for rate, rate. problem. Bastis Burger sold the following items, following, following <laughs> items in one day. So, meron po tayong conditions. We have 50 cheeseburgers. We have 25 plain burgers. We also have 40 french fries and 25 Can canned sodas. sodas. Nagutom ako. <laughs> and we have the following questions. Okay? Question letter A. Anong sabi niya, Ma'am Tintin? Cheeseburgers to plain burgers. What is the ratio or rate of cheeseburgers to plain burgers? What is our cheeseburger? 50. 50. So, we have 50. Is two. two. Plain burger is 25. 25. Okay? Obviously, letter A or 50 and 25 are both divisible by? 25. 25. Okay? So, we have now two. 50 divided by 25 is 2. And 25 divided by 25 is 1. Yes. So, the ratio is 2 is to 1. one. Okay? Letter B. Since pareho po silang burgers, pwede uh, example siya ng ratio. Letter B. Okay? French fries daw to canned so, sodas. Okay? French fries. We have 40 is to canned sodas. 25. Kung titignan natin mga anak, pareho silang divisible by 5. five. 40 divided by 5 is? 8. 8 and 25 divided by 5 5, five. Pwede pa bang simplify? No na Hindi na So yan na po yung answer Final. And letter C Canned sodas to plain burgers Canned sodas is 25 How about plain burgers? Which 25. is 25 They are both divisible by? 25 Sige, 5 muna Para, para pahabain natin <laughs> five, 25 divided by 5 is 5 and 25 divided by 5 is 5. five. Oh, yep. 5 is to 5. They are also both divisible by 5. 5 divided by 5. 1, one is, is to 1. one. Final answer. May tanong ako. So, okay. Jason, kung 5 is to 5 po bang sinagot ko, tama o mali? Depende po yan sa instruction ni teacher. Kapag sinabi niya is simplify, simplify your final answer, the answer should be 
1 is to 1. But if the direction walang nakalagay na simplify your final answer, actually pwede na rin yung 25 is to 25. Okay? That's all for day 7. Okay, mga anak ko, alam namin na nag enjoy po kayo sa ating business mathematics. Okay? Magiging mahirap man yung mga susunod na mga linggo o araw, lahat yan ay kakayanin nyo. Dahil lagi namin sinasabi ni Ma'am Tintin, lahat tayo ay hashtag Matibay! Bye-bye everyone! I hope marami kayong natutunan ngayong araw.